Rock um, Tomasi were uh, here's some of my artwork I'm sharing with you. Um, this first one here we're looking at it's called Elvin Rage. Um, for my all pencil drawings showing how uh, I start off my drawing, you know, line work and, and I do the uh, start shading everything in and uh, using blending stumps and various uh, pencil graphics. Um, this one is uh, she's on top of a giant uh, orc, and you know the the results are pretty cool. So I really like the way this came out. So the next one coming up is it's called uh, Batman Multiplicity. So I wanted to, to do a, a piece with uh, all different types of Batmans from different uh, I guess dimensions, Earths, whatever. Um, you know, uh, Green Lantern, Batman, you name it. So. Uh, I was planning to do it all in Prismacolor pencil, but I decided to, uh, to do it in digital color, as you can see. Um, real simple, you know, line work. Uh, not too much detail. I wanted to, to, uh, to do all the colors in digital and have all effects and everything in there shaded in. You know, uh, not overdo it. So, you know, you can see the results are coming along pretty cool. Um, I kind of like the way I did it. I think uh, I'll probably update it a little bit. You know, put a little more uh, uh, texturing in there. Uh, but, you know, quite well pleased with it. Sometimes I don't like to go back after I do something. Um, next piece is coming up. It's called Call to Arms. This is the first one. This is uh, my, about story about my elves. You know, uh, this is the Goblin Queen. Uh, this is all Prismacolor artwork. Uh, I love Prismacolor markers. And they just have different just cool colors. I like the way they look. Um, this is pretty cool. I like doing it. The composition was pretty good. Um, just things that the, the markers just become bring it to life, you know. And then I, after I finish up a piece, like, and then I would uh, scan it into the computer and just enhance it a little, just slightly because I love the, the markers. So yeah, you see the final. It's just uh, I love the way it came out. The shading and everything is great. So um, another one of my uh, all pencil drawings from my favorite pieces too. It's called Fight for the Stone. Um, dark the dark elves or goblins. Uh, versus uh, the the, el the regular elves, light elves, and they, somehow they got a troll to help them turn to the good side. So uh, this was uh, this took me a while because it's a pretty expensive piece. Um, I love it. Uh, the shading, the way it came out, and uh, the way the lighting came out. You know, it's got a lot of planning to do before you start uh, all pencil drawing, but I love the way it came out. So um, as you can see, the uh, in person, it's better in person than uh, that. You know, uh, photos don't do it justice. So here's the final word. A little way came out. So the next piece is one of my favorite uh, sci-fi drawings. It's called the mechanic. Uh, she's you know, the mechanic that's works on robots, board board bots. She's you know tired, probably been working on for a long time. So uh, this is the process I do. I start uh, lining them out. Uh, do the line art first, all pencil. So, um, and then start filling it in, you know, getting all the curves and, and everything on the mechanics to it, tubes and you name it. So, um, so here's, here's the line, just the plain line work. I erase all the lines. I'm just, just to only keep the dark line, dark pencil lines. Then I start moving in and I start doing the shading, text being, uh, brush metal. Um, this one thing I love about pencils, you could do so much with it, you know, um, sometimes I'd rather work in pencils than color and ink. Because you just get some awesome results. Uh, erasers just, you know, you pick out the different effects. You know, it looks pretty cool. You know, I'm really happy with the way this one came out. I just, just, you know, it's amazing how just you can make something look 3D on, on a piece of paper. So here's the final draft. It's beautiful. I, I love the way it came out. Um, next up is uh, a character I created called the Emerald Lion. Um, all Prisma Color. You know, this is kind of more uh, anime-ish type uh, character that, you know, he's kind of a character that came up a while in the world with just animals, kind of like a Thundercat type of thing going on, but, you know, has a, a story that, you know, while his mom was pregnant and they're in a ship coming to Earth, or I mean, to their planet, and somehow they got a radiation leak and uh, it's somehow turned green. So it's a, it's a cool story. So I have a lot of characters in on that, so. And um, it's all prism color. I love, I love the way it came out. Prism colors are awesome. You know, we're not working in uh, digital or watercolor. I like prism color, so it's pretty awesome. So here's another uh, my favorite piece. It's called 
uh, conquests by elves, and I just want to do a uh, you know awesome elf warrior chick just defeating all these orcs and giants. You know I love that. I love that uh, Lord of the Rings type stuff. You know uh, I'm doing arm, different types of armor and just enhancing with just the pencil, pencil erasers. You know and it's so amazing what you could do it. You know so here's the, the final uh, look of it. So, this is another all pencil. I think his name is King Orithius. He's also a, a, a king of the elves in my story. So, I want to do an epic uh, type armor for him. You know, uh, I'm all about detail when I come. If I'm going to do pencil work, I want to do a bunch of detail on it because I take my time on these. And they, sometimes they, they could do, it depends. It could be a week, it could be a uh, months. I did a piece that took me half a year to do, um, just because I want to get it right. I, I take my time on this, on these guys here, so you can see the results. Um, love the, the way it came out, and uh, another uh, elf piece. And I love how you can you, you can see the beginning to the end. You know the lines from the line, the beginning line work sketching, of the composition to just start taking shape. You know all the heavy lines and. Um, then you could start seeing filling it in. You know, I started. I went kind of a little heavy with the pencils on this one. Dark, really, really nine. I think it's a nine B graphic uh, pencil. I went with this just to get the pop out. You know, so it worked really good. You know, and then of course the blending stone and different uh, millimeter, five millimeter pencil. Uh, of course, I went six B. So you could see the results. Just really amazing what you could do with pencil. So you got different characters here. Get a couple of humans and uh, elves in the front forefront. So I, I love doing their weapons and you know different uh, type of uh, emotions on their face. They're intense. <laughs> That's the final piece, final uh, outcome right there. And I think it came out really great. So this is one of my favorite characters, Lord Cronius. This is going to be a uh, an ink work. This is I start penciling out because I know I know I'm going to ink it. So. Immediately, I don't fully flesh it out in pencil, but just to know where I'm going with it. So, um, I have yet to color this guy. And I was the other day I was looking for it. I was looking, like, hey, where's the color version of this? Didn't do the color version. I'm like, oh, so I got to go back and digitally color it. I started it, but I never finished it. Um, I think maybe because of the, <laughs> the inks were intense on this guy. So, uh, doing the co various coils and, and uh, everything is great. Uh, but you know you can get burned out of uh, out of it. So um, you can see they use favorite Castell. They use a lot of different brush pens, but I love traditional pen and ink, and it's my another favorite I think to do because it just you know it covers up a lot of stuff. So and here's the uh, the final inks. I think it came, came out great. Uh, my friend Rick Tindale did a take on him too. He did a fantastic job. And I did uh, colors in digital. So. We also have here um, another uh, call to arms uh, too. So these are the humans getting ready to gather uh, the forces of the, the battle of the dark elves. And uh, another Prismacolor piece, which of course he's a queen and a warrior. All done in Prismacolor. Prismacolors are just amazing. Um, I like Copic markers. I like all the other kind of markers, but I, you know, I, I just love the the Prismacolor. It just came out great. Uh, so here we go. Here's the final, the final of that. So it's in the enhanced in uh, Photoshop, but the original piece it looks great, better in person. So last thing here is a, a I just want to do something different. It's called Battle Against the Jinn. It's a warrior, samurai warrior against these type of genie type characters. So as you can see, it's I did all the ink work first, and then I digitally colored it. So it, this was pretty intense. Um, took me a while to, to ink to, to digitally color all the stuff. Because I just wanted had a certain way I wanted to look, so this is kind of like this. You see my process here and how I do things. Sometimes I change things, correct it. Um, I might not like a color, so I can change. I'll change the color out. But one thing good about Photoshop is that I can do a lot of different things and change things around. And uh, here's the final piece. And thanks a lot for watching. This is Big Rob signing out.